Okay. This thing gets small every year. We are going to do our top 10 saves. And the reason why we're doing it now, June 5th, is because, well, I haven't worked since March 13th, March 12th. And I'm not expected back till September. Unless I get transferred somewhere else within the city or some shit. So, we're doing it now. Now, there's always that one kid. For me, there's a lot of kids. That don't pay any fucking attention to where they're going. At all. Okay. I can't wait to get rid of them. This kid never pays attention. I'm here. I'm the 45. He's the 40. The rifle is the um, car. I'm in the middle of the road with little kids here. Getting ready for them. The guy tries to beat the light. And I yell out a warning. And this fucking kid's in the middle of the road right here. Now the boy's being fucking plowed. It was the one time out of a thousand he was paying attention to me. Duh. Okay. The very first day of school. I'm here, old ladies there. They're still doing construction. And the, the judge dread cop, he's parked on the sidewalk back here behind where I'm at. Okay. Woman gets ready to go on the road. Car's getting ready to run a red light. I actually run out, pull up by the arm, and the car fucking stops out of instinct. When the cop got out of the car to help me direct the traffic for the construction, I told him what happened. He's like, I don't give a fuck about that. Normally he gets really mad. Okay. One, I'm here. Kids are here, coming across. Car's here. Fucking woman coming down. I ran right in front of a halter. Give me 30 fucking looks. Whole bunch of kids there. And I'm looking at them like, bitch, you fucking think that. Oh. You think I'm gonna let you in? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Another one. There is no pedestrian. Cars here. You know, we're going to use this this 40 for the school bus. Mini school bus getting ready to make a right-hand turn. I'm on the sidewalk. Car's getting ready to run a red light. I halt her and avoid her crashing into him here like that. Avoid that little collision. Okay. Number five. I'm here. Woman and four kids is here. Cars here. I yelled her to jump back. She jumps back. This car comes flying. I'm gonna fucking clip some. I notice I do a lot more or did a lot more with my mouth rather than my arms. Okay. I got a school bus here. This is the only school bus that parked that did the pickup on this side. I'm here. Now, when a school bus is doing the pickup, woman's there. You gotta wait a couple seconds. There's always one car that wants to fucking jump it. So you wait a couple seconds, put the sign out front, and I knocked the woman back. Kept up getting fucking plowed. Okay. Then, a bunch of high school guys here, on here. I yell out loud, they pull back, car comes flying by, almost hits him. I got one of my mothers, actually a young mother. She's here. Almost same situation. I'm here. I yell to get back. She avoids being swiped. Okay. Towards the end of March, middle of March, beginning of March, rather, we had a situation where a 
gonna get the bag. Hold on. Life support. I had a situation where the top corner here, the cornerstone was left intact, but for about three parking, three car lengths up, was dug out, and then all three of these corners were dug out. Now to fix that, when you gotta move guys around, you gotta take guys like this, and you gotta hug real close, wave the car, stop cars. Now, the construction crew's wrapping up. The sidewalk here, the cornerstone, is out and roped off, and there's gravel there. Judge Dread Cop is there. He calls me the fucking general and says, This guy knows everything I right, this guy's in charge. And I say, Yeah, what's the pot of me up to? They got a pot going, how long did they get killed? He laughs at me, some fucking crazy. That day, I got a high school girl here. I'm right next to her. Tractor trailer is hugging us. The tractor trailer is just trying to make do. Just trying to get around. Nothing more than getting around. Now, we're standing off the curb because there is no curb. We got to stand in the fucking road. And I got to stand close to her. And I tell her I'm going to protect her. The tractor trailer starts making his turn. Do, 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 do. And as he makes his turn, he's closing in on us real close. I got to grab her and put my arms around her and push her through. The water getting swiped. That was thus far the last save I made this school year. And there is no school here anymore, so that's it. Now, no one almost lost a body part. No one almost got paralyzed, but there was one incident when I'm here. Got a kid here. The day before Thanksgiving, the car is coming this way. I'm in the middle of the road on this side. Kid's going to run out. He's actually going to run out in front of the car and get hit by the car and get killed. The car's going about 40. I took my left hand and put it in front of the windshield to tell the car to stop. The car got pissed off, swerved around me, and went flying through and came within a millimeter of breaking my fucking hand. But I stopped the car from swiping this kid and killing him. And people think I'm fucking crazy. And I said, maybe I am. Ever watch The Mandalorian on uh, Disney Plus? I thought to myself, th this is the way. Do I want this kid to die? Or do I want him to live? And if I gotta break my fucking hand, if I gotta lose my hand, as long as it means I don't gotta tell his mother he's dead, then to me it's worth it. And we're in limbo right now. I have no idea what's gonna happen next year. I filed a petition to be transferred to another department if need be, to go back to work earlier, but I have no idea what's going on right now. I have not had a return to work day. We're still under restrictions from the virus, which is weird because there are guys fucking looting without getting the virus, so time will tell, my friends, time will tell. But this is 10 saves out of a six and a half month tour. And I'm proud of every single one of them. If this is my last year on the street for whatever reason, I'm proud of everything I did. I may have made a couple mistakes here and there. I may have lost my temper too much here and there. But at the end of the day, every single pedestrian went home safe. And I can't say more than that. If I never run an intersection ever again, I can look back on a career I'm proud of. Thank you guys.